You in the dungeon palace, boy. What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate the support. All you guys have been hitting that subscribe button. I didn't even think that I would cross 700 subscribers, but we are now in that category. So I really, really appreciate it. I got a long way to go. So keep smashing that subscribe button. Keep hitting that like button. Keep helping your boy out. I really appreciate it. I have a very good video for you guys. Very good tutorial. I'm going to show you how to separate your high end frequencies and your low end frequencies in your samples. And also you can do this trick with other tracks that you have that don't even have sample based production. But I'm going to show you how to do it, that way you can have total control over all your beats. So without further ado, let's get to my desk and make it happen. So I'm in an MPC software with the beat loaded up. Just a real simple beat, something for the purposes of this tutorial. Nice sample beat boom bap style, so I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Now what made this sample so nice is that it had a very, very good low end when I first heard the original sample. So I knew that I can separate those frequencies and make sure that I have my high end and my low end, that way I can do what I want. So I'm going to show you the tracks that I have here. The first track is a drum track. I have my high sample and I have my low sample. These two tracks here, track two and three, are basically the same exact track. I just duplicated it to where I can have two. Now I'll show you the high end, the high end track first. These are the effects that I have on it, high pass filter and a gain. So let me take those off and I'll play the original sample. Really, really good low end that the sample has. So the first thing I did on my high end track was I put a high pass filter. I bumped it down to about $13.99 and it gave me this. Now that made the track very low, so my next plugin was the gain knob. And all this is is just a volume plugin, just a gain plugin, and I bumped the volume back up about 8 decibels, and that brought it back up to this level. But now I have all my high end frequencies all on this track. I'll play it for you one more time, and I'll tweak the knob just to show you how it affects it. So all of my high end is taken care of. Now if we go to the duplicated low end track, it's the same exact track, but now I have my low end frequency that I want to bring out. So I'll mute all of these plugins, all four of these, and the first thing I'll do is show you the low pass filter. I brought that down to about 311, and that gave me this sound. And that EQ, I took out just the, the muddy frequencies right here all the way in the low end. I curved that out and I gave it a bump right here because this is exactly where the resonant frequency is in the bass sound. So I gave it just a bump so you can hear it more. And that gave me this sound. And the next thing I did is I put a compressor on top of that and the compressor I just pulled the threshold the threshold down to negative 21 because I just want to squash just a little bit of the top of the base and I put it at a um, about a hundred percent release I mean a hundred uh, millisecond release and then I gave the ratio just a 3.1 and this compressor helped me just to tame that 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 very very high end of the bass frequency just about a two, two, uh, 2 dB gain reduction. And the next, I bumped up the volume with the gain knob again. 
and that gave me just a bit more volume that way you can hear it so now with both samples playing that sounds like this And one thing that you can do is you can leave your filter knobs open. This is the low end and then I'm going to go back to the high end. And you can leave them open and you can adjust them to taste as you play the track. And this is the track with the drums once again. there you have it now you can separate your low end frequencies from your high end frequencies have both of them on different tracks you can affect them how you want numerous amounts of things you can do with this technique you can take out the high end and put a wobble effect on the low end frequencies do maybe a lo-fi effect you can fade it in you can even take out the high end frequencies and just use the low end and also the drums as just maybe a verse part of a song and then break back in the high end track once the, the uh, hook of the song comes in. So there's numerous amounts of things you can do with it but now you know exactly how to separate those frequencies that high end and that low end and manipulate them how you want. That concludes the video guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about this video please leave me a comment and I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. If you found any value in this video, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. That way you can keep up to date with the content that I have coming to you. This is your boy DZD, aka The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment. And you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios. I will check you in the next video, guys. Take care.